Hi, my name is Charles and I'm one of the maths teachers from the Maxim Workshop. I'm just going to now teach you how to do some math. Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate square feet. Now, square feet or feet is not um, a standard SI unit. Um, you would commonly have, say, meters associated with, say, something like a measurement or meter squared for your surface area. So square feet is basically a surface area measurement. Now, when you look at the f a measurement of feet, um, obviously you want to relate that to meters. So when you look at a meter, which we would run by M, we want to take um, the measurement of feet and relate that to how much one meter would be equal to. So I'll just put one in there. Um, now we have 3.279 feet equals to one meter. Okay, so whenever we want to calculate um, the measurement of feet, we have to look at first of all how many meters we have and then relate that to how many feet that equals to. Okay, so just imagine if we have, say, um, a measurement of 10 meters, and that keeps everything nice and simple because whenever multiplying by 10, we've got a small rule for that. Um, obviously, all we have to do then is just multiply 10 by 3.279 to get the measurement in feet. So, all we have for that is 10 times 3.279 feet, okay? So, all we do whenever we're multiplying, multiplying by 10, we just draw the um, decimal point one space to the right. So, that gives us 32 0.79 feet, okay? Now, again, just to recap, this video is about square feet, so we will be trying to take this measurement into, say, something like a measurement for surface area. So we have our scaling factor here, to change um, feet into uh, meters and meters into feet. So imagine if we had, say, a garden, that was 10 by 5 meters and we wanted to see how this related to feet or square feet I should say. First of all the easiest thing would be to change both of these values into units with feet okay so we already calculated this one that is 32 0.79 feet. Now if we want to multiply 5 by this, we can just either do it on our calculator, but I don't have one handy, so I'm going to have to do it on the board. We just do 3.279 times 5. Now 5 times 9, that's 45. So we put 5 there, remember to carry the 4. 5 times 7 is just 35, add 4 is 39, so we've got the 3 there. Now 5 times 2 is 10, so we carry the 3, it's 13, and we've got a decimal point there, and we've got the 1, so 5 times 3 is 15, carry the 1, we've got 16. Okay. So as you can see, we've got a measurement of 16. 0.395 and that is pretty much half of this so we can rub this out and we can rub this out now we have for the length 32.79 feet and for the width we have 16.395 feet, okay? So what I'm going to do, just to make this easier on myself, 
calculate, because we do have a few numbers there, um, is just to round up. So, if we want to round up this number, we take one decimal place, so we check the next number, and we say, is that bigger than five? It is. So, we round up this number to the high number, so we've got 33 feet, okay? Now, we do the same thing here. We check this number, 16, and we say, is the next number to the decimal point um, bigger than five or lower than five? So, we see that it's lower than five, so um, we just keep this number the same, okay? And um, more specifically, I should mention that if it is five or above, so if this was five, then we would round that up to 17. But as you can see, it's below five, so we just take it as 16. So we've got 16 feet. So in order to calculate the square feet here, what we need to do here is just multiply these two things together. So um, the first thing I would do is just write out here, 33. Um, and we have um, times 16. So 6 times 3 is 18. The 1 up there, 6 times 3 is 18, and the 1 is 19. So you put 1 there. And now, because we're multiplying by this 1, which actually relates to 10, we shift all of our results of our multiplications to the left. So 1 times 3 is basically 3. And 1 times 3 again is just 3. So when we add these up now, we get 8, we get 12, carry the 1, we've got 4 plus 1 is 5. So we've got 5, 2, 8. So the area of this is equal to 5, 2, 8 square feet. Okay? And that's precisely how to calculate square feet.